How Women Avoid Consequences, originally published December 4th, 2014. Commenter Rectum writes, quote, off topic, but a good comment over at iSteve about Cartman drama triangle and how women transmogrify from strong women hear me roar to damsel in distress rescue me very quickly to wiggle out of consequences and to keep the blame on not me might be a good topic to investigate unquote this all gets back to the fundamental premise women are the biologically and reproductively more valuable sex men are the culturally and civilizationally more valuable sex and this instinctive reality influences every social and political aspect of our lives. It's the reason why women are eager to rescue themselves from any blame, no matter how deserving, and the reason why men are eager to enable women to do this. Since this sex difference in blame apportioning and accountability is biological in nature, there will never be a program or seminar or rehabilitation camp capable of overturning it. The most you can do is point it out so the worst excesses of it aren't codified into law by raving feminist lunatics and Nancy Boy beta suck-ups. Women are indeed verbal magicians in the art of redirecting blame and avoiding consequences for their actions. They likely evolved this talent as an answer or antidote to make physical and, uh, and martial superiority. Some other ways women avoid consequences, blaming the system or the patriarchy, this covers a wide swath of feminist philosophy such as it is, pathologizing male behavior, exploiting white knights, most of whom are beta males secretly yearning for romantic attention, making for the children please, demanding female sexual empowerment, then demanding desexualized men, a, f a fine demonstration of cruelty, gossip and alliance building, tears, Sex withdrawal, the male analog of sex withdrawal is resource withdrawal. Ask a wife how she'd feel about that. It's opposite, promises of sex, poisoning children against their fathers, making or threatening abuse and race, rape allegations more common than most think because a tyrannical state permits this vile behavior to metastasize, being unaware of or ill-disposed towards examining their own sexual machinations, it's easier to defy blame for crappy behavior when you can't perceive the importance of your own agency or the motivation of your desires. It's good to know that these unsavory characteristics of women exist, but unfortunately, the inertia toward idealizing the imagine, imagined purity of women is as strong in tradcons like Steve Saylor and Ross Doathat. No, no offense to these gentlemen, okay, a little offense, they mean well, and their Gaelic work in this neo-Puritan times is invaluable, but their real talk stops at the bedroom door like it does for most men with limited experience in the mating trenches. I'm going to go ahead and read a couple of comments here. Um, Trav77 writes, Women avoid consequences by being women. Listen, throughout millions of years of evolution, when has a woman ever had to make a decision? The last hundred years? against how many million of it never having mattered what a woman thought. Women aren't selected for decision-making. Therefore, the very notion or concept of consequence is alien. Like asking a fish to breathe air, it simply has no frame of reference. And he goes on to say, uh, in response to another commenter, this imputes far more calculation to women than there is. Guys, come on. Women just don't think like you do. There's no strategy here or in anything they do for the most part. It's just emotion. If she fucking hates you, she will try to kill you, and you may fuck her in the next minute when she feels she loves you. Ever been stupid drunk where you start uncontrollably crying? That's a woman's common emotional state. The feelings are overwhelming and they lead to action. None of them are scheming on how to evade an argument. It's just it's that logic and fact simply have no persuasive effect against but i feel you cannot analyze women into a logical function this is why gaming is necessary to fool them into emotional states that are favorable it's why sometimes the shit you say works and sometimes it doesn't why sometimes doing the opposite of what the book says works and gets you laid and sometimes it doesn't this is just how this is how alphas get pussy their basic interaction with women gets them into aroused emotional states they feel attraction. They do not think, oh, wow, this guy is saying such interesting things. I should analyze this sentence for X, Y, Z. No. 
it's you make a note and either they resonate it either resonates with them or it doesn't some of the more introspective know about this themselves they have a rational hamster that can tell when the emotion hamster is getting played and if you do this sometimes you'll hear them say please don't make me do this and they will blame you afterwards for their actions because they do not have control of their emotional hamster you do for fuck's sake you can make a woman have orgasms during real rape. How in control of themselves do you think they could possibly be? You are in control, but if your control and your decisions lead to an unaroused emotional state, then you are to blame. Got it yet? Bitches are an instrument, you are the player. If a tune sucks, look in the mirror. <laughs>